Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to the uh, the Fokutir uh, entertainment session of uh, Commvault Symphona tutorials. So today I'll be showing about um, the various installation folders what we have in Commvault after we install, okay? So uh, currently we have a test environment connected that is uh, Windows 2008, right? So um, click on start, go to uh, my computer. So the default, uh, we know uh, it will be installed under uh, program files, commvault. So we have uh, two folders, one is uh, cs underscore dr and the other one is a symphana. So this is where you have to uh, uh, I mean explore, c program files, commvault, symphana. This is the same location, same path, uh, which you will be uh, you know providing at the time of installation so these are all the various folders okay uh, listed under symphona okay so the important folders uh, are base folder comserve data index cache idata agent log files media agent and we will we will check uh, all the other folders also so why these folders are important okay if you open the base folder okay in this base folder it will contain all the exe files and the dll files which are important which will be running in the background when symphona commvault you know uh, is performing its tasks don't delete and don't modify don't move any folders because that will affect the functionality of the the backup application okay so uh, the other one is the uh, comserv you can see uh, as we know commvault uses ms sql instance in the background so this is where it is configured okay and the uh, the data part where you have your your uh, database see this is your uh, these are all the different database data, databases that will be used by uh, Symphona Commvault. Look at the size. Look at the log file size. It's around 1 GB. This is just a, a test environment, guys. Okay, imagine in the production server, the size of these data and the log file databases that will be very huge. So, uh, I mean, this folder will be used only in, in at the time of a disaster recovery of a comp server. Let's say your comp server is down, you want to restore to your previous uh, configuration. So, I mean, uh, we will take these databases back up and we will restore the databases back up, okay, uh, in, in, in case of any disaster recovery. We will see that procedure uh, in, in coming sessions, okay, but this is just for information. So that is what uh, I mean. Uh, we have under data, and now uh, the index cache is nothing but it maintains all the uh, the job configuration and you know oh, I mean any activity, uh, any job activity that will be there under the index cache, any any job uh, information or any restore information that will be there under the index cache. So even sometimes index cache uh, for I mean the uh, i mean it it, it will be uh, occupying very huge space so in that case you have to check your retention or you have to move your index cache to a different local drive where you have enough space so um, yeah so that is about the index cache and uh, the log files we know which is uh, these uh, this folder is very important while troubleshooting any issues like connectivity issues or um, you know um, uh, any uh, specific uh, job failures or any restore uh, failure so we will be or any any something you know uh, to be more specific like browse issues or um, any other uh, media agent issues or data aging or there are uh, there are uh, various log files each and every log log file have its own significance and uh, it will capture its own information it will be easy for us you know uh, to to go through this log files and troubleshoot the issue uh, in, in a deep dive way. So that is the other thing and the media agent, the media agent information will be here. You can see, uh, but as of now, uh, it's a test environment. We don't have anything. So uh, 
and uh, the other thing is um, uh, the updates one so what are the different updates uh, that are installed uh, whether we have the latest service pack or the hot fixes released from the uh, uh, from the uh, Commvault. all right so it, it will list all the updates here so um, we will also cover update session in the in the coming uh, uh, in the coming videos okay so these are all the different uh, installation folders under uh, Symfana okay and um, what else what else we have um, all right and uh, let's quickly look at the uh, the registry the registry part of uh, of uh, Commvault Symfona for that you have to open the regedit go to computer and uh, hkey local machine browse to uh, software now uh, it should be under um, Commvault systems see I mean uh, if you look at the, the older versions of Symfona Commvault it's a, it's a galaxy okay it's a galaxy 5 6 so they, they changed into Symfona now so the latest version so uh, Commvault systems the galaxy the instance one so this is where your uh, all the uh, the Commvault registry keys are are here all right so uh, the base folder see the C program files uh, uh, it was showing a Symfona base okay and uh, the comserve the C program files Commvault Symfona so this is what it will show and this is this is the master server name the SC host this is the uh, your master's your backup server name so and um, the CVD it tells about uh, various parameters here okay please don't change anything they will affect your uh, uh, the backup application so event manager so it captures the logs and this is the agent and this is the firewall so you look at the firewall look at the ports uh, and currently we don't have any anything so uh, we're not worried about it and let's see what machines we have we have only the master server and we have all this configured under the master server okay and uh, the media agent the same thing so uh, yeah really speaking uh, will not have much information and the reports and it's the uh, maintenance and the session see under the session uh, you will see uh, what are the different ports that that uh, Commvault uh, uses to communicate with the clients or to in in the environment. See here, uh, CVD port 8400. See 8400. That is if it decimal, it gives 8400. Okay. And uh, this is one other port 8401. And uh, EV MGR port it is a 8402 okay so these are the the default ports that uh, that Commvault uses so if anyone asks you what are the ports you can you have to tell 8400 8401 and 8402 okay and this is the uh, the service pack level and update job information so um, so ESS provider and uh, so that is about the uh, the instance level and uh, and we'll be having uh, one more folder here under um, uh, WoW 6432 node that is only just the uh, ROMs and the uh, Galaxy remote install okay so this is uh, about the uh, uh, the registry and sometimes we have to give permissions uh, you know full control 
so if you want to add any user to have a full control on the registry you have to uh, add under the uh, registry editor go to the the properties of the uh, comball systems and give a complete uh, root level permission as a full control for that particular user okay and if you're getting any right issues or uh, uh, installation uh, permissions issues so this is what uh, this is what about the the registry of the comball and uh, about the uh, the installation folders so just a quick recap guys what we learned we learned about the uh, what are the various folders we have under the uh, uh, symphona so these are all the, uh, the the important folders are base base comserve uh, idea agent index cache log files media agent and data okay along with the uh, the updates and the uh, the registry all right so uh, so this is guys uh, um, and uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, stay tuned for more uh, comball tutorials and uh, have a nice day